hello everyone and back and welcome back to the channel that is Deb Chanel's 40th world and we're gonna be talking about a story that TMZ broke you know they're the paparazzi in every state that you got celebrities in all right they're just there ready to take a picture ready to ask some stupid questions and put you on blast well guess what they saw Ah, Cynthia and Mike. Don't know where they were going, but they were in the L.A. airport. Maybe they're coming to Georgia. Who knows? But anyway, they were asking Mike about the cheating allegations. And are they true? Because the mass media wants to know. And that's what they're there for, to bring it out. Of course, me and Carmen, just like, it's a, it's a closed case. Shut the book. It's a done deal. Let the record show. He already confessed to being a cheater. He didn't do good with his first two wives. And they haven't really been doing good with his girlfriends. But Cynthia Bailey, when he met her, got introduced. They clicked like salmon and grits, peanut butter and jelly, bologna and the frying pan. Okay. Yes, he was a changed man. Changed, changed man. Now, we know people can't change overnight. It takes years, especially when you've been, in, uh, um, when you've been shown to be, um, what do you call it? Well, infidelity just wraps around you real nicely, okay? To secure your whole being. So, when you have those type of things that are chasing you, it takes some while for people to really look and observe and witness that you've changed now of course it's Cynthia's job to take up for her man even though her man making her look stupid out in these streets and people making opinions about it every single day they're not really cared about mike you know because he's a man they're just looking at cynthia and uh two well we just say one failed marriage and she's working on another one that seems like it's finna hit rock bottom she shouldn't know some of the signs because uh, allegedly Peter had cheated on her too. So she should know the comings and goings and the differences that he's not showing like he used to show like some attention seeking. And I don't know. I don't know. But let the record show. He said that he cheated on everybody. And I guess Cynthia is supposed to be. The be all, the it all to keep him from ever cheating again. Because she has everything he needs, wants, and desires. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel it's a, 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 a what do you call it? A bunch of hockey puck. A bunch of doo-doo. A bunch of garbage. But that's just me. You know, because I'm only giving what he gave out to the public of his demeanor. And how he showed little respect for his daughter. Well, I should say daughters. Because he has two. And he was married um, to separate women. Got two children. And he said he didn't love them. Of course, that didn't sit right with most of America. That tune in to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because unless you're a sports junkie. And you're in the sports world. And you know all the sports commentators. There nobody know nothing about no Mike Hill. Until he showed up on Cynthia's platform. That everybody watch. Well the majority of everybody I should say. I won't generalize that statement. But yeah they caught up with Cynthia. And they had a little, little talk. Not long. Because you know they were going through LA's airport. And like I said, don't know where they were going. They could have found that one out. Like, where you going? Where you off to? But they didn't answer that question. But we get on into the article. It's kind of brought out by the guru, even though it's under Yahoo News. And somebody named Bibba Adams wrote this nice article on November 3rd, which would have been yesterday. They titled it, Cynthia Bailey, Mike Hill, Shut Down Cheating Rumors, Not True at All. The Real Housewives of Atlanta alum, Bailey and her husband, Hill, denied they were having any infidelity issues in their marriage. Now, that may be true on your part, Cynthia, but it may not be so true on your husband's um, side of reasoning. But going back to the article, it says Real Housewives of Atlanta alum, Cynthia Bailey and her husband, Mike Hill, told TMZ, meaning they gave a verbal quote, 
they are not having any issues of infidelity in their marriage. Well, we didn't ask you that. We asked you didn't Mike cheat with this woman. We didn't tell you to put that big old word and, and that it's known in the Bible. And, and, you know, it's called adultery, really, is what it's called. Not infidelity, adultery. Uh, but going back to the article, as the couple walked through Los Angeles International Airport, they claim they are great, saying that rumors are rumors. And adding, it's not true. Well, well, my when I grew up and what I was always told, even up to this point of 53 years living and breathing and experiencing, a liar is always a liar, a cheater is always a cheater. Watch when people show you who they are. Don't examine it. Don't give them um, excuses for their behavior. Just look at it from where it was presented. Okay? Take it for face value. But going back to the article, it says TMZ paparazzi asked the couple if they would consider legal recourse against the anonymous accuser. He said in response, if it continues, absolutely. We'll take care of it the way it's supposed to be taken care of. Asked if he had a message to the anonymous accuser. He had a message to the anonymous accuser. He'll simply respond I hope you get help. Bailey recently posted a picture on Instagram of them out together. I'm like, have y'all talked to y'all PR people? Is this what they're telling y'all to do? To go and be exposed with the paparazzi, the journalists, the frenzy people that uh, want to come out and, and, and take pictures of you and put you on blast did your pr people tell you to go out or didn't might say let's just go out and be in the public and if someone comes you know around we'll just tell them outside like no mike why don't you just set up you don't talk enough because if you were really serious about it if you were steadfast about this person is really uh, messing with their character saying untruths why you j- you already knew who the holder was or it's not uh, hard to find who the alias was and research have your lawyer research have some talks going on and have them to come back on public social media platform and take back retract their statement okay that would be doing your due diligence but waiting for another shooter drop on this issue that may come from that person and hell it may come from another whole source a whole different other source you know how you drop one bomb you have many more grenades ready to drop too in the wind they just trying to see how this first one gonna play out you know what i'm saying so i'm like no you're not taking care of it you're trying to glass over it and you're trying to create this united front that ain't nobody buying ain't nobody buying that got good sense okay that's all i'm saying so no you're not doing your due diligence no you do not have anybody on returner no you do not have you know someone on a legal team going after this person having a sit down conversation and asking them to retract what they said and be you know honest about they lied this that and the third and let's move on but no or you could have just not said anything or just a blanket statement, not true, don't have any more comment. And don't have any more discussion on your platform, your social media platform. Because Cynthia, you can find her. You can find her until today. She wanted to show up and show out and, and take pictures of her, you and her comments and goings. But when this stuff was really hitting the fan three days ago, Cynthia was like ghost Casper. Okay? And only you were out there trying to tow the role or tow what was said in front of your... Uh, platform of social media or wherever you go however you move you just wanted the smoke so now you got it now you're gonna have to deal with it because trying to retract something that you put out there on social media showing your winger wanger everywhere yes your winger wanger if you know if that was truly you and only cynthia would know only cynthia would know and she's the dutiful housewife wife she ain't gonna expose you because she know it would still make her look bad because she would have been a part of two men cheating on her in the public eye and get exposed to it in the public eye and she has to live with all the shame and humility and she probably don't want to go through it right now so she wants to believe that you really didn't do it like you said but she may be having some reservations that she's not talking to you about mike I'm just saying, 
Because you can only hold out for so long with the conspiracy lies. But going back to the article, it said, um, last, well, late last month, Bailey sat down for an interview with Page Six and said her decision to leave the popular reality franchise. Well, we don't want to go into that because we know she was not asked to come back. As her current position of a, a peach holder. Okay. She's coming back as a friend. That was going to be the negotiation. She chose to not take it. Which means I would have took it. I would have still been making my money. Still been doing what I had to do. And uh, still been in the limelight to a certain degree. Because you were getting paid full time pay. And weren't giving us nothing. So they want to give you part time pay. And you still don't give us nothing. To me, it was a win-win. It was a no-brainer. I would have took it. But I'm sure your husband had something to say about it. And, of course, your husband had something to say about you not going to Greg Lee's celebration party. Because, you know, one platform, you're saying that you weren't there. You were out of town. Another platform, you were saying you and Nene weren't friends. You didn't feel like it was necessary for you to come. Because you didn't know how she was going to act. Da da dee da 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 hot mess it's just hot mess but you know she goes in to compare she didn't want her marriage to be on tv but you got married on tv two times or you had dress rehearsal i should say because they didn't want to fool with the ovid and they didn't want to you know be responsible or seek uh somebody seeking lit- litigation against them because they got over it at the celebration party that Cynthia called herself having and you know probably say I ain't finna go we ain't finna do that and the possibility somebody may come up with it then they're gonna say we weren't doing our due diligence and making sure everybody was secured and was properly masked up and staying six feet away and they, they said they ain't going for that drama not gonna happen so we didn't get to see her per se wedding but we damn sure saw saw her engagement because he made that such about himself and had to put his two children in it and cynthia's child i'm like is it that is it that deep is it that deep because you've been married twice cynthia been this will be her second marriage I, I i don't understand what the whole hoopla was about just go to the courthouse get married take a nice trip somewhere all right and film that for us to see but it, um, you know, she was basically saying she just really didn't want to be a part of any more drama. Not right now. She wanted to kind of keep her marriage off the of TV. But, you know, nah. See, well, you wanted to keep it off TV, but it actually is still on social media platforms. So you're still being spotlighted for the wrong thing. For the wrong thing that he may allegedly be cheating on you. You're still in the spotlight. And you're not even on anybody's show. You're just making promos and interviews. <coughs> Excuse me. I got a kicker in my throat. But you going around here doing interviews, talking about your dismissal or your willingness to leave the show, and it's all not adding up. It's all just not adding up, honey. You and Nene got raw deals, but I can say you got a raw deal because you basically didn't do anything. To make the show ratings go up or anything. <coughs> you might have had one or two fabulous scenes. You know with your fashion and your face. But just interacting and giving us drama. Really Peter stole the thunder from you when you were married to him on the show. He was more. Uh, what do you call it? Entertaining. Than you were Cynthia. So. Anybody could steal the spotlight from you real quick, real fast, and in a hurry. Because Noelle stole some few scenes from you. And uh, she was carrying you on your own show. So that that's what's piss poor. Hell, even Leon showed up. And that made the ratings go up a little bit. Because he was interesting to watch. And he definitely had been on several platforms of the acting arena and we knew who are, we knew who he was okay and he still looked nice fine and everything don't understand why y'all not still together unless he's a part of the same gender pool other than that i just i don't see it because y'all were like perfectly matched but here we go again me going off in a, a tan a tantrum 
extra because you know i'm like if you're gonna put up with a cheetah girl i would stay with peter at least he was nice to look at he had some class and woo, when he get dressed up lord that man look good okay that man look good so like uh, not so much not so much not so much he don't even give me class he gives me really nothing but a user user but that's just my opinion that's just how i feel about the situation and um yeah but y'all get down in the comments y'all tell me how y'all felt about this short little um what do you call it short video i gave y'all because you know it's just really i'm just sick of cynthia just defending me and <coughs> that ain't worth defending pretty much because <clears throat> he wasn't the perfect dad from what i understand and he wasn't the perfect husband so i'm like he's batting two out of three and looks like he's batting for number three to strike out but that's not not here nor there we we'll just keep watching it. We'll see how it develops and we'll keep, you know, you in touch with what uh, I feel about the situation. Then you can come on down, put in the comments how you felt about the situation. And we can just, you know, dialogue together. Okay? Together forever. But that's all I have for this video, guys. If you like it, love it. Gotta have more. Don't hesitate to click the notification bell so you'll know when I upload and release videos for your partaking and definitely help your girl out by sharing out her videos share 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 is caring and like my videos as well okay it will help in the algorithm of getting my videos out and reaching more and more people but other than that I will see you guys later bye bye